Hey guys, it's Shara from Woodshop Diaries, and today I'm super excited to be bringing you the tutorial for how to build this five drawer dresser. Isn't this thing awesome? I use vanity legs in this design to give it a cool touch of style. Those little feet at the bottom really make this piece. So if you guys are ready to get started building, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's go. The first thing I did was start cutting down my vanity legs to the size that I wanted my dresser to be. At the end of the day, this dresser was about 33 inches tall, so I cut my vanity legs to be 32 and a quarter inches tall so that when I put my 3 quarter inch plywood top on, it made it 33 inches total. I got these vanity legs from Osborne Wood Products. I'll put the link in the blog post in the description below and also the cut list and all the plans are in the description below as well. Once I had the vanity legs cut to size, I started milling up my own 2x2s. I always mill up my own 2x2s from 2x4s so that I know that I've got a nice square edge and um, so that they're not twisted and bowed like the ones that you typically get from the lumber store. Um, once I had my 2x2s milled up, I cut four short pieces that will go on the sides of the dresser. You'll see that in a minute. And I drilled one and a half inch pocket holes into the ends of those pieces and attached using glue in two and a half inch pocket hole screws, just like shown here. Once I had one pair of exactly what you see here with the one leg and the two 2x2s two attached, I before I attached the other leg to the other side, I cut the plywood panels using my a circular saw and Craig rip cut and accu cut. I cut these plywood panels down to fit exactly inside that uh, little 2x2 two two rectangle there on the side panels and once I had the panels cut I drilled three quarter inch pocket hole screws around the all four of the all four of the sides of both panels and then attached using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws just like you'll see. I attach these so that the inside of the panel is totally flush. That'll make it a lot easier later to attach door slides. You don't have to use spacers or extra um, blocks or anything. So you see here I just slid that plywood panel in, made sure it was flush and then attached. Once I had the plywood panel in place, I went ahead and flipped it over and attached to the other leg. Um, again, I had two of these panels, so you'll have two of what you see here. Once I had my two side panels assembled and everything was put together, I started cutting the four pieces that I'll need to assemble the side panels together to make the whole frame of the dresser. Um, I cut these two by twos and then drilled pocket holes in the ends of each of them and attached using pocket hole screws and wood glue, just like you see here until I had a frame of a dresser. So this is the structure that we'll build upon as we start adding the drawers and stuff. I added a divider between the two large bottom drawers and the three smaller top drawers. I did this using 1x2s, so I cut my 1x2s to the length that I needed. I had two long pieces, one for the front and one for the back, and then I had four short 6 inch pieces that will actually divide the three drawers in the middle. I used glue and pocket hole screws to attach just like shown. You'll see here I'm only attaching on the front side, but you'll actually have to do this on the front and the back side as well. I evenly spaced out my little six inch one by two blocks and the so that way all three of the drawers on the top will be the same size. I just screwed these in from the top and the bottom instead of using pocket hole screws. Um, once all of those pieces were in place I cut some scrap plywood pieces to run between the front and the back drawer dividers this is solely for attaching the drawer slides. If I didn't put these here, I wouldn't have anything to attach the drawer slides to. So these are just scrap pieces um, that I just pocket hole drilled into the front and the back dividers just like shown here. Once all the dividers were in place, it was time to start attaching the drawer slides. I had five drawers, so I used five pair of 16 inch long drawer slides and attached these just like shown. 
For the top drawers, you'll use those dividers that we just put in place for the door slides. And for the bottom, it's really simple, just two drawer slides on each side of the inside of the side panels. Once the drawer slides were in place, it was time to start cutting down the wood to make the door boxes. I used my circular saw and my Craig rip cut to rip down some thin pieces of what was left of the plywood to make the drawer boxes. The bottom drawers are a little bit deeper than the top drawers, so I ripped those boards slightly wider. I cut all my boards down to the size that I needed and then cut dados on my table saw for the quarter inch plywood bottoms to fit into. Once all my dados were cut, I drilled pocket holes into the front and back pieces of all the drawer boxes, just like shown here, so that I could attach the drawer boxes with pocket hole screws. Once all my pocket holes were drilled, I cut the plywood panel bottoms that would go into the dados of the drawer boxes and attached using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws, just like shown here. Always be sure to put your bottom in before you attach your last drawer box piece. Once all the drawer boxes were assembled, I attached them into the dresser frame, just like shown here, with some scrap block pieces as spacers so that you don't have any rubbing on the bottom or the top of where your drawers are going to go. Um, I, don't, I know that there are probably easier ways to do this, but I always like to attach my door slides into my um, dresser and then attach my door boxes just like shown here. I find that easier, but there's plenty of jigs out there that you could also use to attach your door boxes to your door slides. Once I had my boxes in, I cut my door fronts to fit, leaving an eighth inch gap around all sides of my door boxes, and then I just attach them just like shown here using screws from the inside. One of the last steps in building this dresser is to add the top. I cut my top so that I had a one inch overhang on both sides and a one inch overhang on the front side of the dresser. I applied edge banding to this piece of plywood and then applied glue to the top of the dresser just like shown here. And then when I placed my top on, I made sure everything was centered and that there was a one inch overhang on both sides so it wasn't like off center or off balance. I removed the drawers so that I could get in to attach the top using two inch screws from the bottom of the top frame two by two, if that makes any sense. You can see here exactly what I did. Then finally, you can finish as desired and the last thing I did, but I didn't show it in video, was I added a quarter inch plywood backing. I just stapled it onto the back side just to kind of finish it up. Sometimes I add a backing and sometimes I don't. I find that sometimes with drawer pieces, if you get, like say, clothes in there and it's hanging out the back side, if you don't have a back on it, it's actually easier to get your stuff out if your drawers get stuck. But that's totally optional. Plywood backer or no plywood backer, this piece is gorgeous. So if you're ready to build your own, be sure to check out the plans in the link in the description below and check out all my other do-it-yourself videos.